Hi, this is Chris Davis of SlashGear.com and today I wanted to show you our new SlashGear for iPad app. It's just gone into the App Store today alongside our existing SlashGear for iPhone app and both of them are really simple ways to read our news, reviews, editorial and opinion pieces and watch our videos. So as you can see it's a really simple interface. Up at the top we've got categories, so all articles, features, reviews, columns and videos. And underneath there's a side-scrolling timeline bar so you can pick what you want to read. That opens up in the browser window underneath and you can scroll through, have a read. Any outgoing links open up within the app in a browser window so you don't get kicked out into Safari. And if there's a video, you can tap that and also watch that within the app as well. There's also a gallery viewer, so there's a gallery associated with the post. You can watch that. And that works with a really easy timeline bar down here at the bottom. As well as the portrait mode, there's a landscape orientation. Whereas, as you can see, all of the different categories are shown here in this bar, and each scrolls side to side. And you can adjust the font size by hitting this button here, and that's stored in the memory so that every time you reload the app, you can see the same font size as you picked the last time. If you find a post that you want to share with someone, there are icons here to share it by email, and that opens up a blank email with a link to the post, as well as by Twitter, and that lets you put in your Twitter login details and then send out a link to all your followers. And you only need to do this once because that's, again, stored in the, the app. So that's the Slash Gear for iPad app. It's in the App Store now. It's a free download. Uh, we'd love to see what you think of it, so please do have a try and let us know. Thanks very much for watching.